morning, good morning. <laughs> Are you cleansing yourself down with your negative energy sticks? I hope so. <laughs> hey, there you go. Oof. Ah, you can feel it. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oof. Wow. Oof. Wow, beautiful. I'll just leave that burning, even though I shouldn't, shouldn't waste it. But anyway, still in the room, it's beautiful. Good morning, guys. Um, pause the video, go on, get yourself some water and come back and drink with me. Pause, go on, go and get some water, some nice fresh water and then come back and then I'll wait for you. Okay, hopefully you're back now. So get your water and have a nice drink with me. You can breathe if you want to. Again. The liquid of life. Good morning, guys. We should always drink as, as, as much as possible without going OTT, but it's good to drink plenty of water. It fuels the whole body and helps, especially when we're doing work like this today. Today's a beautiful day. Welcome to the Pure Energy Healing Academy and welcome to a crystal, exciting little um, talk about how to energize crystals for your room. I'm gonna give you some examples of what I do on my website and what I sell on my website for people who don't really, uh, or, or can or don't feel that they can energize crystals and they just simply wanna buy them energized already. But let's take you through it and explain how it works. For me, the three principles of um, room energy is um, the energy of uh, heightening the vibration in the room. That means that certain rooms um, that I work in have to have a certain vibration for what I'm doing in that particular room. So let's take, for instance, you have a room that you want to sit and meditate in. It's your, it, it's your place of comfort. It's your you know, a um, place where you can just retreat and find your inner peace. That room has to be in an energy vibration that is of comfort, love, high vibration, okay? So if that room, say for instance, you wanna feel um, the energy of comfort, you wanna feel the energy of love, you wanna feel the energy of protection, I would be working on four crystals to place in the four corners of the room. My favorite crystals for that are um, these here. So the four crystals that I would use, and in this form, which is an amazing form, it's the pyramid form. And the reason why I like the pyramid form is I've tried spheres, uh, balls, I've tried different shapes, and. E easily kicked, easily broken, easily rolled away. These sit very, very comfortable. So I take my four crystals and I place two in each hand. So um, don't worry guys, if you've got any kind of crystals, get four crystals, but get the crystals that feel right for you. So rose quartz always brings love, peace, tranquility. It brings comfort, it brings protection of the energy in that room. That is what we call the vibration. So once you've got that vibration in that room, you can then do whatever you want in that room because you've, you're always in that energy. So you would take your four crystals, and again, I recommend rose quartz, but you might think to yourself, do you know what? I, 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 I'm feeling that I'd like something else, another crystal. Good, you're listening to your higher self, good. So you wouldn't then take your crystals and you would close your eyes and you only do this when you're at the highest level of energy. So if you're like now, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling I'm resonating around about 80, 80 to 90% easily. Okay, I'm really feeling on top form. So you take the crystals and you close your eyes 
and you generate that energy, that love through thought of past, future. So the thoughts that you're gonna create is of a room, you sitting in that room and feeling that love and comfort. So what you're actually doing is creating that very energy of what you want. And that's what a pure energy healing crystal is. The other thing that I do that maybe you could do on a, on a friend is if you ever find that a friend needs uh, love, if they need healing, if they feel like they, they're, they're not being loved and comforted and they, they need a bit of, I don't know, loving protection around them, you would then go and grab these crystals and you would lay these crystals on your client like I do. And you would then begin the healing, which is channeling. So that channeling energy that pours through goes into your client, but at the same time goes into the crystals. So the healing energy goes into the crystals, not to fear the fact that your friend is feeling bad and you're thinking that they're gonna go into the crystals. It doesn't work like that, not with crystals. Crystals only raise a vibration. It doesn't lower a vibration. It raises it and therefore the memory that goes into the crystal is high vibration okay so once you've done that for maybe like I, I work with these on my clients when we have uh, courses here like next week so I'd be working on these crystals or putting them under the bed a lot of the times I put all my crystals under the bed so it's generating that energy or in this room so once I've done that they're now ready so you'll feel when they're ready because you can hold them and feel them. And then you would place them in four corners of the room and let the magic begin. That's how it works. So that would be Rose Quartz. If you're wanting to work in an energy in a room where you're wanting to really do the work, which means that you've got a lot of negative family members, you've got a lot of negative friends, you may work in an environment where it's awful, really awful, and you struggle with life, you feel depressed, you feel sad, you feel down. The perfect crystal for that would be these, which I believe is obsidian. I also think black tourmaline works amazing too. Tektite, amazing crystal. So, I would take these obsidians and I would then uh, place them in the four corners and do the work like I just said. But what you need to focus on when you're working on these crystals is how to clear the very energy of your family, of your work. And what you would do is channel an energy of seeing yourself stronger and healed from that very uh, energy that is causing the issue. The only time you should be doing it is when you're at high vibration, when you're feeling happy, because that energy, that vibration then pours into here. So your directed thoughts of what the issues are of, let's say you've been on holiday for a week, and you, when you get back, you're feeling energized and happy, but you, you know that in a few days you'll go back to work or you'll meet a family member that's gonna upset you or a partner. So you're gonna grab these crystals and with that energy you're feeling, that happiness that you feel, you then pour into the crystals instantly. That's when you need to work on the crystals. That's why you should never work on crystals when you're at a down, low vibration because it doesn't work, you're wasting your time, okay? So you put that energy into it. So the other thing that you could do as well is if at times when you're feeling down and sad is lay the crystals on yourself, on your heart, but this is the thing, self-healing is a tricky thing because if you're in a bad place, it's hard to open and allow the flow of energy to run through, but it can be done. And that's why I have courses here. So you lay the crystals on you, you hold it and you call for that very energy to heal you. Only when you know that you feel healed, only when you know that after you've done that self-healing session, you feel, oh my God, I feel better. Then you know that energy has come through through the universe and has now gone into the crystal as a memory. If you try it and it doesn't work, then these haven't been energized. Are you understanding now? Are you getting it? <laughs> I hope so. It sounds a little weird, a little bit complicated, but actually it's very simple. So like these now are ready, so now these are done, I'm gonna put them in the four corners. 
So now this room is now ready for any time I feel like I've had a bad day at work or somebody's had a go at me. I will come into that very room and I will feel that energy in that room. And the reason we have these room crystals and the reason why they're energized is once you come into that room, you are now at a very high energy level to clear that energy. So with the help of you sitting down in that room, breathing and just letting go, the energy in the room has already generated or is, is generating a vibration that is a memory that is healing you instantly. Do you see how amazing that is? And that's how room crystals work. Um, if I'm, um, if I want to create a room where I just want to connect with my spirit family, my loved ones, if I want to um, generate an energy where I am more attuned, we call it psychic ability, we call it uh, intuition, our higher self. If I want to create a room where I can walk in there and feel my family's energy like this room does, I need to raise the vibration of this energy room to a level where my uh, my family can come in and I can raise my energy to meet halfway. So we both connect halfway. So we need to create the room's energy. So yes, as I'm using the, um, the sticks, fantastic for that because it's clearing the negative energy. But I want to raise the energy at the same time. So my favorite crystals are... Um, amethyst for that perfect for the rooms so when I'm working on my clients day after day and they come here and they're they wanting to feel the love of their family they wanted to raise their vibration they want to know what their path is they want to know how to um, feel uh, and experience the connection of the spirit world when I start working with them, I take these crystals and lay them on them. So what's happening again is this certain energy that pours through that is giving them that um, heightened awareness, that vibration we call. Once they they think they get up and they think, oh my God, I feel amazing, I feel strong. And, and all of a sudden they'll tell me through the day, I've never felt better, I'm seeing things, I'm hearing things, I'm understanding things more. So now we know that the vibration and the healing memory is in this crystal. Once that's done, we lay them down in the four corners. When you come into this room and you want to meditate, you want to um, practice your mantra, you want to, um, whatever, you want to, you know, work with tarot cards, you want to work with angel cards, you want to just become more attuned, aware. If you've got problems and issues um, in your daily life and you're unsure with things, perfect because these are going to raise your vibration and help you attune to what I believe is the spirit world that help us every day help guide us even when it's really bad and you think oh my god you know this has gone wrong that's gone wrong no it's gone right spirit's helping you so you follow that trust that truth that wisdom that spirit's giving you although your mind is fighting against it so you need a room that clears that away raises your vibration and then you can understand why things are happening in a different way I call it the big picture and therefore amethyst is a great crystal for that when you put it in the four corners of the room so depending on what room you want if you want your room comfortable loving kind then a bedroom would be where you sleep so of course I would use rose quartz however if I want to uh, practice the art of um, spiritual awareness while I'm asleep we there's lots of different um, words we can use but astral travel is one learning to connect to the spirit world while we're in a deep state of, of meditation sleeping in the bed I would use these if I want my bedroom in a place where I feel protected from negative energies from what people would call or uh, you know perceive as dark entities and energies then I would of course go to the obsidian and put that in the room because it gives that energy of cleansing, clearing, protection. So I hope this makes sense to you today. These are something that I have in all four corners. Uh, I'll just show you. Just grab. grab this one in the corner I have this one in the corner at the moment and this one is to raise my health I want to be more healthier I want to be vitalized and strong so I changed my room last week and put these in just before the course when the course uh, starts uh, the first day I'll be putting these down 
to give protection in the room to help clear the energy from the people if they've got any negative energy. Then the following day when we start doing the healing work, these go down. Do you understand how it works, guys? Okay, and the final day when we're finished, these will go down because they'll feel comforted and protected. So you may ask, Matt, could I use um, a black obsidian there, a rose quartz there, and can I bring different energies into the room? Of course you can. But what I try and do is bring as much energy in, in as one way rather than not. It's not a confusion. It's just I want to be more specific in certain days or weeks to how I want the room to be. So that's only my preference, you know. But yes, you can alter and change different crystals in a room, no problem at all, and it does work very well. Um, but for me, if I'm doing one room, I like to make it specific to a certain vibration I wanna work in, then it's so easy and clear for me. I think what I'm gonna do today, guys, because, uh, and just, just, just think about this, guys, if you've ever had a gift from um, me that I've sent you on YouTube. Please step aside today and allow somebody who genuinely doesn't have any money who's never received a gift before, okay? Because I'm gonna give um, one, two, three, four, five, five, five gifts away today. And these five gifts are uh, especially for um, uh, somebody who's gonna be watching this who genuinely doesn't have any money at all. I wanna send them that gift, okay? So be kind, be caring, and just say, I'd love that, but I'm gonna step aside and let somebody else who needs it more than me today, okay? And I'm gonna try and attune to that. So today, I'm gonna to gift um, from my website um, these four charged obsidian room crystals as one gift to somebody. So if you really, really struggle with pain and suffering of um, work, of people who cause you great harm and pain either in the house or at work, I think that one's for you. Anybody who feels a lack of love, who, you know, has ever been said, you know, you're horrible, you're, you know, you're not worthy, you, you know, anybody who suffers from self-worth, who wants to be loved again and feel love and to grow stronger and to feel comforted by life, um, I'm going to gift these beautiful charged um, four pyramids, pure energy healing pyramids, okay? They're going to come to you today. Uh, also... If you are at a stage in life that you know you really want to attune and become stronger and powerful, you want to raise your vibration, you want to feel um, the the essence of spirit around you. If you want to become more psychic, but you just don't have any money and you don't know how to begin that work, you can't afford, then this is going to be gifted to you today. These beautiful four amethyst pyramids. Okay. Also, anybody who's um, at the moment feeling really angry and feeling upset with your family or uh, a partner, somebody who's gone and left you or done something horrible to you. If, if you feel like you can't move forward because somebody's really upset you and you're living in that fear constantly, I'm going to gift this to you today. And this is from my website. This is one from my website, which is the, the Stone of Forgiveness. It's called cavern sign, okay? This is gonna help you forgive and you will forgive if it comes to you because you'll hold it and you will feel like forgiveness and you will let it go and say life is more important, my journey is more important and you will feel that energy and you will let it go and then magic comes into your life. If you cannot afford a crystal, guys, and you're feeling that way, please send me a message and say, I would love this crystal because it will help me tremendously. If somebody out there really would love a Moldavite and they've not been able to afford a Moldavite at all, they want a genuine one, but they're saving up for one, they just don't have the money, please guys, step aside and let them say, yes, please, Mark, I'd love a Moldavite. This is gonna be a starter Moldavite off my website as well. They've only just come in. They're um, genuine, beautiful, and worked upon Moldavites. It's only a small one, but you know what? Sometimes the small ones are the most powerful and this is a beautiful Moldavite, okay? Gorgeous. So, 
Love you all. I hope you enjoyed this little um, interesting workshop about room crystals and how they work. And I hope you can get yourself down to a local um, reputable crystal shop by yourself for crystals and uh, choose them wisely, feel them and then work with them and then put them in your corners. And please let me know uh, what uh, effects you get from it. How did it help you? And if you follow the simple steps, you may find that your room really does help you through your life, like it has me for 15 years. From my heart to yours, have a beautiful day, guys. We're all growing, we're all learning. Thank you for purchasing all your genuine uh, working crystals that I work with every day from mattbyeski.com. Thank you for purchasing the book. I hope your little channeled messages has touched your heart. Um, it's uh, going so well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I love the book too, work with it all the time. So everything that I sell on my website, I work with daily. So thank you so much for supporting mattbyeski.com and have a great day, guys, from my heart to yours. And I may see you in Bali in September the 13th for my last retreat this year. Take care. Bye, guys.